Well, hello, Lake Avenue Church. I hope you are doing well. Hey, I've got just a couple of updates for you today. The first is, can I ask you to be praying? Uh, praying very specifically for our students, our junior high and high school students. Uh, tomorrow, Saturday, they'll be on our campus, all over our campus, having a winter camp experience. And as you know firsthand, as a parent or grandparent, or as you know firsthand from just being an intuitive person, it's been an incredibly difficult year for all of us, but our students in particular. I'm grateful that they're going to have this day to be together, to be around one another. And would you join me in praying for a couple of things? One, pray primarily uh, that the living God would move among them uh, tomorrow, that they would meet Jesus as they would if they went away uh, for a full weekend up in the mountains. Now, so join me in praying and then pray that they just have a ball, that they just have a blast. I'm praying that every student, every leader, every staff member we have would leave uh, the winter camp experience tomorrow filled and excited about what God is doing in this world and in the lives of our students. So join me in prayer. I also want to ask you to uh, be aware that Sunday we're going to continue in our love series. We're going to be in John chapter 13. I'll be bringing the message. Uh, the title of the sermon is Love Gets Low. This is an incredible story of Jesus loving his disciples and modeling for us what the love we are to have with one another looks like as well. So we'll continue in our love series, John 13. If you want to read ahead, I love when you read ahead, uh, verses 1 to 17. Uh, and then finally, uh, thank you for uh, listening to the more long-winded update last week around what uh, COVID and re-entry back inside and onside our campus looks like. And I am super aware that this has been the main story coming out of so many media outlets, so many states, so many things. And so I just want to bring you a moment of clarity. Uh, one, I want you to know that Lake Avenue Church, we have a near-term strategy about getting back on our campus and inside our buildings. And, and right now, number two, right now we are running a series of tests and pilots so that we can uh, hone down, develop, and figure out those protocols so that we can uh, continue to be safe while we're inside. In fact, last week, we had about 30 or 40 people in the worship center. This week, we're looking to double that, and I look forward to next week bringing you much more detail. But, but let me just let you know what our goal is. We are praying and working hard that by Easter you will have the opportunity and option to be inside the worship center. So a lot of our focus, because a lot of the main conversation is around worship services, and we are working diligently to do that. But I also need you to know that our near-term strategy includes communities, includes the use of classrooms and family ministry moments and children's and students, and all of those things are being worked on diligently as we continue to provide the ministries that we are doing in this other way. So hang in there. It's really just a matter of days and weeks. I want you to be glued to these Friday updates because we've got a big test on Sunday. Pray for that. As we bring in many more people into the worship center, we're going to be able to see some things and learn some things so that we can figure out and clarify uh, what those protocols will be on our campus. And just to remind you, you may not know all these things, but our campus is being used often. I invite you to come to our outdoor worship service at 1130 this week and stay tuned because I know that next week I will have much more clarity for you. But just for you to know, we're shooting for Easter. We are working hard right now. We've got pilots and tests and protocols that we are just putting finishing touches on so that we can be back inside uh, together. Again, it will be different. You need to be prepared for that. My son goes back to school this week, and we had a Zoom. And, uh, list, and as excited as we are that he gets to go back into the classroom for a few hours a day, what was super clear very quickly is that it's not going to be the experience he had before COVID. We're just not there yet. So he's going to have to wear a mask. He's going to have to be limited in some of the ways they do what should be normal. And you can expect that same kind of experience here. So yes, we're working to get back, but our, our coming back will look different than before all of this as we continue to work towards that, that, that glorious day uh, where we can just be as we were, we pray. So thank you. Be praying for our students. That's big. I'll see you on Sunday. 
And hang in there with us because just in a matter of weeks, days, we'll have more information about how it looks for us to enter a new season uh, at Lake Avenue Church. You're deeply, deeply loved. You are being prayed for all the time. And uh, I look forward to being with you this weekend. Have a good day.